Hello, Galaxy of Heroes. So I've just talked to myself for 17 minutes thinking I was recording this, but apparently I did not. So I will try and remember everything. Yeah. Didn't happen, ergo, I just made that up. Anyway, happy Mother's Day. If you're celebrating Mother's Day today. If you're not celebrating Mothering Sunday today, happy Mothering Sunday when you do celebrate it. And um, yeah, happy day to all you mothers as well. And happy Bo Katar Mandalore Day. Um, that's a weekly celebration at the moment, but she's back in and ready to go. And uh, yeah, lots and lots happening. So, what has happened recently? Recently, you will, you may have. Thank you very much for everyone that has watched my. The uh, the vid I put out, I did comment within that that yes, you are seeing what you're seeing. Um, I which was a relic nine Darth Bane. This is the gearing up section on the vid, and then uh, so we go through all of that, and then after that, I've got it's all C Bane or Bane C. I'm trying to get a play on Banshee. It's uh, kind of, yeah, it wouldn't be a million miles away from kind yeah. Anyway, so we've got Bane C against Lord Vader, Jabba Hutt Cartel. Uh, those are both in Arena, so no Omicrons are active in those. And then there is against uh, Jedi Master Kenobi, um, Mr. Hit Hard Beardy. And uh, with Cat and a No Revive Datacron, and also against Ray with Ben Solo JTR L337 and Barris Offy. So, you know, it's a, it, it's a fun one, obviously, with a, a do it with an L3 Datacron. So uh, I can't even remember what the data cron said, but you know who cares? This is Banshee's time. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In regards to mods, because I just heard someone saying, "But Mikey, what are the mods on you?" Yeah. In regards to mods, as <laughs> as I'm just making it up as I go along. Um, the as far as I can recall, the. Lord Vader and Jabba battles are with the mods that you see in this gearing up section here, which is two, and which, which is two health sets and a defense set, and all the primaries that are on there are protection reason why I mentioned that is oh and they're also five A's um because for the last two battles uh the JMK and Ray battles in GAC I had stopped well I had reappraised and have gone with the crowd and trying to keep up with the cool kids and um I've switched over to three health sets all with health primaries obviously except for the top and middle left hand side which are offense and defense primaries no negotiation there so here we go up to relic level eight and do we have enough i think i can't see because it's it's hidden behind what says recording, but I think we need a few more. Yeah, we need some of those. And this is why this section, you may have noticed that the first section was speeded up. It was like, I'm sorry, but I did. I just ran through. If you've got him, you'll know how to <laughs> unlock him and what he needs there. It's all, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why I'm doing that. Stop. Okay, but... Brucey bonus. Look at that. Ding, 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 ding. 
We we actually got an Omi mat drop on a gearing up vid. I mean, thank you. We, everything aligned there, didn't it? We definitely got that little bomb in that little hole and blew that bloody star up. Yes. Well, not maybe not quite that dramatic, but you know what I mean. It's kind of like the that's almost I mean that's all but actually that's probably on par with winning GAC. Just for the fact that it's such a rarity to have them drop. I mean we have means of generating them now. Thank you very much. I still would like my credits on the uh, that capping thing. I blew a ton of crystals to discover that I didn't get the mats to generate the yummies. But hey, hey ho, that's not what we're here for. We're here for this. We're here for this being who looks like some sort of medieval show, or maybe not shogun, but samurai or something. Oh, not that I'm knocking it, it looks cool. I know there are some contentious views in regards to his appearance, and this isn't the full one, but hey ho, this is yeah. <laughs> We've got 17 Han Solos in the game, so what is the full one? I may have over exaggerated that slightly. Uh, not that much, not as much as you would think. Yeah. Okay, so, um, oh yeah, yeah, uh, <laughs> second time round of doing this, I got the Omicron right, because I spoiled that in the first talk through that didn't record, um, I need, well, I didn't need to, but yeah, um, I needed to take C up to nine, um, I wanted to take C to 9. Oh, I always struggle with ultimate words and that lot. But there's the whole thing about if if it's rule of two, two and one of them dies, then the other one gets X loads of goodies. Um, and that's also something to do with their relic level. So if they're both maximum relic level, then if one goes, then the other one gets. That was my reasoning on that so <clears throat> here we go this is speeded up um and again as i say this is arena i believe uh, i i uploaded the the layer one i just thought that that was more impressive and i know that Leia is uh a character that we we struggle to find good work around so if you can two man layer, then that's why, yeah, I put that one out. Um, Jabber, mm, Jabber, we have at the moment, you know, there's two Datacrons out there, and you know, I, I like the fact that CG balanced that in regards to that you've got uh, a real big lifter for Jabber, but then you've also got the Afro who you know takes care of Jabba so you know swings and roundabouts there I like the balance so this wasn't as big a deal and yeah it'll be interesting to see I mean <clears throat> we've got the conquest coming up I believe we've got Queen Amadala will be the reward but just wondering I mean <sighs> My tea leaves reckons it's going to be um, Sith and Gungans for the next Datacrons. So when the the Jabber and the Afra goes out, uh, in will come Sith and Gungans. Mm. That's, uh, yeah, maybe not Gungans for this time round. It depends how quickly they can get them all out, I suppose, because obviously with Datacrons, you need them to be Relic 5 to, or, yeah, to be fully functional. Okay, so, yeah, I've waffled on enough there. So this, again, is Arena, and again, this is speeded up just for the... I mean, it takes a little while. Um... 
I think one of the things we have to wait for is is for Maul to come out of hiding because we can't actually do much with him there. But of course, what we can do here is that anyone that sees Zappy Doodars ain't coming back. So we can take care of the fact that <coughs> Reva, third sister, is not going to be another present till the end because she gets three lives. She's a third of a cat. I don't know what the other two thirds are, but she gets three lives. Cats get nine. That's why I just, yeah. But I mean, oh, it, 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 it's just, it's great when we get stuff that is like, oh no, I don't have to wait for this particular thing to happen for me to actually see whether my character does what it's built up to do. I mean, that is pure pleasure there. The fact that you can go straight into Arena, pop him in and run him and, you know, get results. The, 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 the memory that came back to me was, and, and this is testing, I mean, this will be for how long you've been playing the game or not, but almost like when um, either Kylo Ren got his rework or or more when Boba Fett did. As Boba Fett wasn't kind of doing what he should be doing and, and now he does. So yeah, yeah, getting those vibes. It's it's it, it's fun. Okay, so uh, we're almost at the end now. So this is um yeah, me just going through once again. Oh, yeah, because we're going into a, a battle and obviously you can't lock a Datacron in with your comps. That might be a feature that would be useful if you could actually lock in which ones. I tend to forget. I was like, oh, that was really good. And, you know, by the time you come back, it's like, oh, which one was it? Was it that one, that one? Yeah, yeah, because it's been a, a while and, and different games <laughs> environments to play and all that lot so uh okay this here no this is the penultimate actually it's not but it's the penultimate bane bane c uh, and this one was just about the whole is there a bug with the omi is it continuing on is it is it is it and actually <laughs> It was nice. Um, this is going against... An, um, there's more than one Mighty Chlorians. And this was from... I believe they're in Mighty Chlorians or Mighty Chlorians 1. Um, we were chatting. We, it the whole thing of the debate on whether this is bugged or not. And, and I asked them, well, what did you use on mine? Because I put my JMK in defense. And you know, they, they said, yeah, I, I use this. Bane C, C Bane. And uh, it was like, okay, well, I've got to do the same. Um, and yeah, so this is the same. This is, I believe, my opening battle. Um, and I mean, just, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not perfect, but... I'm just wondering actually whether this is the misplay. So there, there, there. And we, effectively, we we've just got Mr. Beardy and he's uh he's better self. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Is what it is. We've already done it. we you know we've just gone into ultimate, so it doesn't really matter what they do here. Um. Duh. Akazar or whatever he says. I'm, I'm getting real Harry Potter vibes here. Where it's just like zappy do, you're dead. Seventy-five banners, seventy-five banners against JMK. I mean, you're gonna take that, aren't you? Normally, that's very sweaty work to achieve, not just two men in. So I'm, I'm loving that. I am loving that, and. 
that was good. Personally, this is better because I don't know whether I've ever removed it. I should do because I've, I've felt quite embarrassed after it. But I think I have nearly 30 minutes of me swearing, ranting about Ray and how awful she is when you're having to fight her. I mean, she's, you know, best thing since sliced bread if, if I'm using her and what I'm winning. But, oh, my God, is she a pain in the ass to fight. And this whole... Uh, I mean, it is kind of with the light sides. Most of them, it's like, oh, we're not dead yet. <clears throat> no, you've got to kill us twice because we're all, you know, light side and good and... That's the mechanics that we've been given and we'll get loads of foresight and loads of buffs and loads of things and swings and misses and blah. I'm not doing that. Look what I've got. I've got two sifts that reckon they can take you. Prove them wrong. Still waiting to be proven wrong. We're a minute into this battle. or just over, aren't we? And, uh... Yeah, just elect to do that again and it's like, well, let's get rid of her because she does all that. You get healed back up in, if I crit you. So, um, yeah, we'll encourage you to depart this battleground on the hollow tables. So we've gone into ultimate now, which means that we've got buffs going on. Let's wave his staff and... See how they all shirk back? Jump! Gone. I mean, that, that's, that's, that's it. That's it. Thank you very much, CG. Please don't nerf him. He's great as he is. And as I said at the beginning there, you can only use him once. So, you know, none of us have got eight Banes or whatever. Oh, this is just a tag on and a slight reference here to another very, very good Conquest tune. This was just a bit of shits and giggles right at the end. Looking at CLS and I mean, that, that is just a thing of beauty. Who do we want to pick out? Let's go for Chewy. Chewy, bye-bye. Luke, bye-bye. Drogon, bye-bye. Job done. Mic dropped. Mic's off. Thank you for watching.